Hi guys, Max here from shopsolarkits.com. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect batteries in series or in parallel. We're gonna use these two deep cycle 12 volt batteries to demonstrate this. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what happens when you connect in series, what happens when you connect in parallel, then I'm gonna demonstrate it, and we're gonna test it on the voltage meter here. So let's get on to it. So please excuse uh, my crappy drawings here, but high level, this is what you're gonna to need to know for a series versus a parallel connection. So with two 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries, if you wire them in series, this will increase the voltage to 24 volts, but the amp hours stay at 100, okay? So we can see here with a series connection, this increases the voltage, but not the amp hours. So we would go from the first battery from your negative to the other battery's positive, and then you run a lead out from the first battery's positive and a lead out from the second battery's negative. So looking at this high level, the overall uh, voltage of this battery bank would be 24 volts, but it would still have a hundred amp hours. Going over here to your parallel connection, it's essentially the exact opposite. The voltage will remain the same, but you're gonna increase the usable amp hours of the battery bank. So as we can see here, the parallel connection increases the amp hours, but not the voltage. So you would run a positive to connect to the other positive and then out, and a negative from the first battery into the second battery and out. Okay, so you've gone to a 200 amp hour, 12 volt system. So this is high level, series and parallel, and now let's take a look at what it looks like actually doing it on a battery. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna demonstrate is a parallel connection. What we've just learned is that parallel will keep the voltage the same, but raise the amp hours. So these are two 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries. So if we connect these in parallel, our battery bank is going to stay at 12 volts, but there's gonna be 200 amp hours. So when we connect these and we test it on the, the output here, we should see 12 volts or 13, depending on the state of charge here. But if we're up into the 20s, then we know that we've connected them wrong. Parallel connection is negative to negative and positive to positive. I've made these uh, battery cables myself here. I'll link above to the video where I show how to make some cheap battery cable. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wire this right now and then we'll test the output on the voltage meter and see what we get. I'm gonna start with the negative side. So we now have our two batteries negatives wired together. Now let's do the positives. All right, so when I touch the outputs here with the voltage meter, we should see 12 volts. 12.95, so perfect. So now that we've wired these batteries in parallel and we know how to do that, let's wire them in series. What we already know about series is that when you connect it in series, the voltage goes up and the amps stay the same. Since these are 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries, wired in series, we're gonna get a 24 volt system at 100 amps. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. First thing I've done here is I've turned the batteries around closer to each other, and I'm going to use a battery cable to connect the first positive to the second negative. All right, so let's test the voltage at these two terminals here, and we should see around 24 or 25. 25.8, perfect. Everybody understands how to do a parallel connection, positive to positive, negative to negative, and you just expand that and it's super simple. Where people get confused is like, what if I have four 12 volt batteries? How do I keep it at a 24 volt system? Because you could expand this positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, and go up to 48 volts, but they always get stuck at 24 volts and four batteries, um, and how does that work? The way to get four batteries in a 24 volt setup is just like this. You'll keep positive and negative, and you have a free positive and negative. And then I have two more batteries, I would connect them like this. And each set of two would have an open positive and an open negative. And that's where we connect in parallel. So this open positive would connect to the other battery bank's open positive, and this negative that's open would connect to the other battery bank's open negative. We have two sets of series connected in parallel, making a 24 volt system. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We have a full team that can support you. I'll also link some uh, articles in the show notes here about battery banks and how to wire them up uh, and how to go from there. All right, I'll also link a video on connecting solar panels in series and parallel as well. Uh, if you have any questions about that.